Okay. Um, I'm sundowned. Yeah, let's have one good email that someone sent to Castle Super Beast Mail at gmail.com. That's Castle Super Beast Mail at gmail.com. You know what's funny? I was planning to ask you to do a short podcast today because I got no sleep last night. Um, but uh, caffeine, caffeine's my friend. Well, um, I didn't expect a two hour stun lock, but here we are. That wasn't, it was an two interesting conversation, hours. but two hours was it but uh you know yeah it's fine uh here goes one from kevin says dear chewy and in the morning i've been thinking what defines a freak pick wanted to get your input there's obvious classics like blanca and valdo but what about the ones that sit on the cusp i think sodom is a i'm not sure if he counts or not and is it just a matter of appearance or does the moveset have to be considered as well uh, does it, does. it have to be limited to fighting games, or can other games count? Does Apex and League have freak picks? Yeah, they uh, do. I would say definitely not limited to fighting games. And I would say, for me, um, I think Sodom is pretty much... No, I think I'd put Sodom in there. I'd say he's he's in there. He's Yeah, I, and I think, Human for me... Sheep. But he's he's But he barely acts like it, and he kind of represents the weirdo, of uh, right? I think, to me... I, I, very much disagree. He's just a weeb. To me, the 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 freak pick is like um, the character on the cast or many characters that are like not amongst the classically attractive cool archetypes. There's going to be a lot of popular looking humanish people that are going to be like you know very ready for marketing, and then there's going to be the ones that are like super exaggerated nuts, and they're usually about one theme or motif taken to the extremes i don't know i feel like i feel like we need to be talking about basic like non-humanness so like hakan is a freak pick because humans don't look like that yeah Yeah. saddam like if somebody dressed up like that they would look like saddam like it's it's an outfit but, right? Yeah, but I, I still think the role they play on the cast is that of oh, yeah, no, the they're fucking mechanics, weirdo. But, like, right? Saddam's not so, that weird. He's got a Rekka and a command grab. No, but, like, I would also, to that extent, say that, like, a character like Roadhog in Overwatch is the freak pick of the cast, or one of them, because, like, you know, compared That's to... That's a human shape. It's a human shape. <laughs> Roadhog has a human shape, okay? <laughs> I can hear the cracking in your voice, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> put some bass <laughs> put some bass in your voice bro it's guy he's very human <laughs> say it with your chest. normal <laughs> but yeah i think i think roadhog and and junkrat <laughs> are you know the fucking uh, uh they represent like they're the freak picks in that cast of cool you know classically attractive archetypes and um they're they're that exaggeration where you pick a motif and you make them crank it up to 11 for them you know um and and you get uh fucking yeah sure necro and 12 and third strike are the obvious go-tos but... i mean when you're dealing with like i mean if you're talking about characters like Arakune, right i mean like yeah. that's a, a fucking blob yeah. that does projectile vomit like i mean uh, ah! uh, kusara right, ghetto can... in, in samurai showdown like the big red monster thing you yeah know? okay come on like they are so far beyond the normal fucking anything yeah um but I, but I think I think that's what it is. Uh, to me, it's like it's like. When I think you, you... Big Band. Somebody mentioned it. Big Band's a freak pick for yeah, skull for sure. girls. For sure, definitely. His because... his his general size is like five times everybody else's. Like the main character and supporting cast of of the marketable, you know, humans that are cool are usually what you're going for. And then there's that fucking weird one or that you know the one where you're just like you took one aspect. And you made it all about that, you know? Um, or you're referencing a movie or something that is, like, old school and also, like, a freak f- pick from that movie or whatever the case is. You know, Necro being a necromancer reference, any Frankenstein reference, anything like that as well kind of fills the category. So, yeah, that, that's how I feel about it at the very least, you know? Um, you're, you're, you're uh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Tentacle f- dude from, from Tekken. Um, oh, Gygus. Gygus, <laughs> you know, standing amongst a bunch of Why normal human beings. Why do I fucking beings. know that character's name? I don't play that fucking weirdo. Nice. 
Yeah. Also, Valdo, despite ostensibly having a human shape, is the biggest freak pick of Soul Calibur. But just like Sodom, Valdo, any human can put a Valdo BDSM fucking slave outfit on and just give their way I mean, that's true, out, but like, you know? if you saw that person on the street, you'd be like, that's a freak pick. It's just it, that's it. I think I think it it, it has unless, nothing to do unless unless you want to say that that's like the traditional stereotypical Italian outfit of the day. <laughs> I uh, I I fucking I hate Valdo's gr weirdness every time, and I would be so upset if they neglected to put him in a game. Oh, dude, I think his costume where he's like the the angry uh, sunflower is one of the greatest fighting game costumes of all time. I will never play Valdo, and he better show up every fucking time, I swear to God. And every time you fight him, you're like, Ugh, I hate this. Thank God he's here.